And the opponent tonight is Austin Gomber, the former Cardinal, who for the Rockies this year, Brad, has started 5-11. and 11. Yeah, old friend Austin Gomber making his 30th start of the season. That's a career high for Gomby. 3-1 is sent in the air into shallow right center field. The second baseman, Aaron Schunk, underneath it makes the catch. Brendan Donovan coming up. 0-2 pitch, strike three called with a breaking ball on the outside edge. Donovan rung up for the second out. So here's Paul Goldschmidt. And Goldie tops this fair to third. Back a perfect, well, not quite perfect, but a little help from Tolia. Moves up the line and tags Paul Goldschmidt. Well, partner Eric Fetty coming off a terrific outing last time out against the Pirates. One run over six innings, but again, no run support. I know the Redbirds would like more of that tonight here in game two. And there's Charlie Blackman. Here comes the standing ovation. Rockies fans, Cardinals fans join in together. But you know on the weekend, oh, this place mercy. is going to be absolutely jumping. And Charlie lines this to center. Get down. You know what? He keeps doing this. He may rethink what he uh, <laughs> posted on Instagram 48 hours ago. Well, I, I would say maybe if he hadn't already made the decision back in February in spring training. And that's a milestone hit, Huey. That's 1,800 hits now in his big league career. Second most by any Rocky in the franchise's history. Ezekiel Tovar following the leadoff single from Blackman. And a ground ball sharply hit to third. Aaron out of the second one and a turn. A double play. That was a missile to the hot corner, and Arenado starts it around the horn, twin killing. Brenton Doyle, 0 for 4 last night, and he's 0 for his last six. And that continues here in the first inning. Single, double play, strikeout. We go to the second, no score in Denver. So one down. Yvonne Herrera, the Cardinals' designated hitter, and he has one here, a line drive into left field. So Herrera, the first Cardinals knock. That gives him a six-game hitting streak. Walker lines out, two outs, and Thomas Adjaci will come to bat for the first time in the series. And he shoots one to right. That's going to get down and roll to the wall. Herrera flying around second on his way to third. Pop's going to wave him. Here he comes. Here comes the relay throw to the plate. It's going to be close. It's dropped. Runner to third. It's one to nothing Cardinals. An aggressive send by Pop Warner, and it pays off. Herrera scores from first with two outs in the inning. Well, that's the thing. You got two outs right here. You want to be able to apply some pressure, and that's exactly what the Cardinals do right there. An aggressive send, but a great one. A perfect throw is going to get him, but he ends up sneaking in. Next hitter is Pedro Paez, the, the catcher. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Strike three. Second strikeout for Gumber. Ends the second inning. Now we'll go back to that top of the order. Mason Wynn is the hitter. This one driven a long way toward right. Hilliard going back. He'll turn. That ball is high off the scoreboard. Well played, but now ricochets back toward the infield. Win with a stutter step. Is going to try to go to third, and he will slide in safely. Mason Wynn takes one the other way off the scoreboard. He's at third with one out. How about Mason showing off some opposite field power on a pitch that's left up in the zone and then showing off some of the speed. Brendan Donovan now the hitter. If you put it in play in the air, you've got a chance to make it 2 nothing. And he did just that. Smoke toward left center. That ball tailing away, but a fine running catch by Doyle. And scoring easily is Mason Wynn. Good at bat by Donovan. That's his 69th RBI, and the Cardinals lead 2 zip. Yeah, that's Donnie doing a job right there. It was a big mistake pitch by Austin Gomber, too. Two strikes, 0-2, looking to bury a slider and left one up there that he could do that to. Jacob Stallings. This is a base hit. So now Stallings is five for nine lifetime against Bay. And Nolan Jones is next. Nolan getting the start in left field, hitting eighth. This ball is driven to left center field and deep by Jones. And it's going to be off the base of the wall. Kicks right to Donovan. So Stallings will have to stop at third on the double by Nolan Jones. Aaron Schunk now the hitter. Homer yesterday and another base hit. What a score. Jones around third. He'll get a stop sign with no one out from Warren Schaefer. How about that Aaron Schunk? How about a little seven, seven game gamer. hitting streak? Yeah, he is now 9-4-17 during this seven game hit streak. You're talking about a guy taking advantage of an opportunity. Aaron Schunk has knocked in three runs now in this series of the four the Rockies have scored so far and Charlie Blackman comes up 
in a good situation. Runner at first goes. Pitch high. Throw will go through. And it's going to be in time. Shunk is thrown out. The Cardinals throw through. And there's your first out. A bullet caught at third. Throw to first. And that should be a double play. It was caught on a line. Jones broke toward the plate on a sinking drive to first. And the Rockies settle for one in the third inning. Arenado forced. Walker's aboard. Two outs. And Sejaci is next. Line drive into center. That's down for a base hit. He's two for two. So Walker stops at second. Pajes coming up. The Cardinals with a two-out threat in the fourth inning. On the ground, Tovar can't corral it. Walker streaking around third. He's going to score. Sejaci belly flops into third. And Pajes does provide a two-out hit. His 24th RBI, and the Cardinals steal another run. It's a 3-1 game. It was on another Austin Gomber changeup chip, but again, this one is up in the zone. He was able to handle it, able to hit it hard, and sneak it right past the slick fielding Tovar. It kicks away from him just enough. And maybe not done yet with Siani at the plate. 2-1 and this is to Shunk. That'll end the inning. But the Cardinals put up a picket fence slap for the third straight inning. For now the top of the order greets him again in inning number five. And that means Mason Wynn is up. And then he can scorch one up the middle and Tovar can't get that. Win a big turnaround first. He's going to try for two. Here's the throw. Short hop. And he's in safely with a hustle double. Win never stopped flying out of the batter's box. And he's got two extra base hits tonight. And on to third, Mason Wynn setting up Paul Goldschmidt for a sacrifice fly opportunity. Driven toward right. Hilliard going back, still going back. Middle of the warning track. He'll camp out, put it away. And another fundamental play for the Cardinals. Goldschmidt with a sack fly. It's a 4-1 St. Louis lead. So give Goldie his 61st RBI. He starts with Yvonne Herrera, right-handed hitter. As this one drilled toward right, Hilliard going back. He's going to turn. That one's high off the scoreboard. Herrera on his way to second. And he'll stand with a double. The Cardinals are peppering the right field wall here at Coors Field tonight. Herrera is still on second with two outs. Now Pedro Pajes. Line drive into right center field. It's a run scoring hit. Herrera will streak toward the plate. Pajes with a two hit two RBI game. A two strike two out opposite field knock makes it five to one. Man really thought that this was going to be an inning where the Rockies got a little bit of momentum back after a leadoff double by Herrera. It was strikeout strikeout and then tried to climb the ladder with a fastball and Pedro Pajas beats him to the spot with two strikes to drive in another one. The Cardinals have scored a run in five straight innings. Eric Fetty is pitching masterfully tonight. He works his way into the bottom of the seventh inning. Brenton Doyle greets him. And another strikeout. Fetty's really racking him up. His last four outs have been on swing and miss. That gives him nine strikeouts in the game. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. Fetty works around a double. He has struck out ten Colorado Rockies. Fetty to Kittredge and out to Matthew Libertor. It's not a save situation. The lead's too big, but interesting. He's getting a look in the ninth inning in a hitter friendly ballpark. The same script that Ali Momo followed. Last. Oh, get out. Uh, fly ball deep get left out. field. Donovan to the track, to the wall. Done. That's one. Number 23 for Brent Doyle. I think Brent knew this as soon as he hit it. He gets a four seam fastball. He looks up, kind of drops the bat. Oh, it's high. Yeah. Went 400 feet. That's his first home run in the month of September. So Liberatore gives up a home run, gets an out against McMahon, but now walks Tolia. Wally well, Marbles could make a pitching change with a little traffic out there. Here comes the big man, Ryan Helsley, who leads Major League Baseball and saves with 47. The tying run is in the on-deck circle, so that makes this a save situation with one out in the ninth inning. Ground ball back to the mound. Helsley to second for one. Win to first in time. It's a double play. Helsley makes history in Colorado. The Cardinals win it five to two. And a big smile on his face, and rightfully so. One pitch 
Two outs and a piece of history for Ryan Helsley. But that was a big moment for him, picking up save number 48. It was nine years ago that Trevor Rosenthal saved 48 games for the Cardinals, and now it's Rosenthal and Ryan Helsley on the top of the leaderboard. Single season save record for the St. Louis Cardinals.